So this is Go code. In this video, we will see what is extended Euclidean algorithm. So let's begin. As you all know, the standard Euclidean algorithm gives the GCD of two numbers and nothing else. But if we keep track a bit more information as we go through the standard Euclidean algorithm of finding GCD, we can discover how to write the GCD as an integer linear combination of two original number for which we are finding the GCD. Means we can find integer x and y such that the GCD of two number a and b can be written as a linear combination of a times x plus b times y. Now first let's figure out how we can find the values of x and y and later we will see the application of this equation spoiler alert. This type of equation is used to find modular multiplicative inverse and to solve Diophantine equation in two variables. Let if we have to find the GCD of two number a and b then these two are the general step that we are follow to find the GCD using Euclidean algorithm. In each step the new value of a and b is determined by the immediate previous step that is here the value of a is b and here the value of b is this ri means this b is transferred to this position and this r is transferred to this position and the next step will become this and we will continue this step till the remainder not become zero now let's take a equal 1 3 9 8 and b equal 3 2 4 and now let's follow the standard gcd algorithm now using this equation we can write the this a and b as here a is 1 3 9 8 and b is 3 2 4 now we have to find the value of qi and ri so here the value of qi is 4 and the value of ri is 102 now this 3 2 4 will transfer to this position and this 102 is transferred to this position the new a is 3 2 4 and the new b is 102 now 3 2 4 can be written as 3 times 102 plus 18 now this 102 will transfer to this position and this 18 will transfer to this position now the new a is 102 and the new b is 18. Now 102 can be written as 5 times 18 plus 12. Now this 18 will transfer to this position and 12 will transfer to this position. So now new a is 18 and the new b is 12. So now 18 can be written as 1 times 12 plus 6. Now 12 will transfer to this position and 6 will transfer to this position. So the our new a is 12 and our new b is 6. Now 12 can be written as 2 times 6 plus 0. And now we will stop here because our remainder will become 0. This means this 6 is our GCD of this a and b. The key idea is that a b and r can be treated as a variable means here the a is this and b is this and r is this so the numbers which are underlined can be treated as a variable now let's write each of these steps in term of remainder now here the remainder is 102 so 102 can be written as 1398 minus 3 2 4 multiply by 4 and here the remainder is 18 so 18 can be written as 3 2 4 minus 102 multiply by 3 and here the remainder is 12 so this can be written as 12 equals 102 minus 
18 into 5 and here the remainder is 6. So 6 can be written as 18 minus 12 into 1 and here the remainder is 0. So 0 can be written as 12 minus 6 into 2. Our main task is to get this equation. So in this equation the left hand side is the GCD of A and B and the right hand side is the linear combination of A and B. Now you can see that in these step this is the only step where the left hand side is the GCD of this A and B because here the GCD is 6. So let's take this equation. So 6 equals 18 minus 12 into 1. Here the important point is we should know which of these numbers are variable. Here in this step we know that 6, 12 and 18 are the variable. So let's underline them. 6, 18 and 12 are the variable. Now from this step we know 12 can be written as 102 minus 18 into 5. So let's substitute the value of 12 here. So this will become 6 equal 18 minus 102 minus 18 into 5 into 1 which will become 6 equal 6 into 18 minus 102. Now here, here the variables are this 6, this 18 and 102. Now from this equation we can write 18 as 3 to 4 minus 102 into 3. So let's substitute the value of 18 here. So this equation will become 6 equal 6 into 3 to 4 minus 102 into 3 minus 102. So this will become 6 into 3 to 4 minus 19 into 102 and here the variables are this 6, this 3 to 4 and this 102. From this equation we can write 102 as 3 to 9 8 minus 3 to 4 into 4. So let's substitute the value of 102 here. This equation will become 6 into 3 to 4 minus 19 into 1398 minus 3 to 4 into 4. So this will become 6 equal 82 into 3 to 4 minus 19 into 1398. And here the variables are this 6, this 3 to 4 and this 1398. Now here you can see that this 6 is the GCD of A and B and 3 to 4 is B and 1398 is A. So our task is done. This equation is same as GCD of 1938 comma 3 to 4 equal 1398 into x plus 3 to 4 into y. Now let's compare these two equations. So by comparison x the value of x become 19 so x is 19 and the value of y will become 82. The so value of y is 82. So this is how we can use standard Euclidean algorithm to write the GCD of two original number as a linear combination and the value of x and y can be find in this manner. Now let's see once again. Our task is to find the value of x and y in this equation and we saw the two steps that we are follow in the standard GCD algorithm. After that we take A and B for an example then here we follow the standard GCD algorithm. After that here we rearrange our each step in term of remainder and then we will take this equation because this only this equation have the GCD of A and B on the left hand side. After that we will substitute the values of variables and in the end 
we will found our original equation that we are finding and by comparison we find the value of x and y now you may wonder what the heck is this but this process is called extended euclidean algorithm now you know what is extended euclidean algorithm these steps are the steps that are follow in the extended euclidean algorithm now let's stop here and in the next video we will see how we can implement the extended euclidean algorithm and how we can solve the diophantine equations